So before we dissect, let us first wash our hands. So now that I'm done washing my hands, now we can proceed to dissecting. Good day everyone, I am Ivan Swandu Lelichi Zamora from bsn one d Today, I will be dissecting four organs which are the stomach, liver, and the skin, and an eyeball. So I have already washed my hands and also I am wearing a protective gear such as these goggles, face mask, and a laboratory gown. So we will first um, dissect the stomach. So as you can see here, it is already um, separated by the liver. It is because the butcher has cut it off. So, so the first thing that we are going to dissect is the stomach. So the stomach is covered by membranous structure of the omentum. And I'm gonna, uh, this one is the omentum. This one. This one is the omentum. So the omentum is very loose membrane, but it's the way the stomach is attached to the body wall along the backbone of the spleen, of the spine rather. And omentum is one of the main places that the body stores fat. And as you can see, how the esophagus enters the stomach. So the let us flip the stomach and let's see the parts of a stomach. So here is the esophagus and the esophageal sphincter and the rough one area here is the rugae and the pyloric sphincter. So the pyloric sphincter and that's what prevents food from moving out the stomach and on the small intestine. That sphincter here is often closed at the same time. So the food material coming in will stay there, will stay here and to, dig to digestive enzymes and so on. So also in the stomach facilitates digestion and the sphincter will relax and allow food to move out into the small intestine. So, the stomach has been already um, separated from the small intestine. So, stomach has, also the stomach has um, hydrochloric acid and pepsin together. Those begin the breakdown of protein that's in there. So, um, there's a stool in here a while ago, but um, the butcher has already cleaned it. So, yes, I cannot show you the stool, but we all know what the stool looks like. So the food will move from the stomach down to the small intestine. So we will now go to the intestine, small intestine. Wait. beginning of the small intestine so um, uh, uh, there's this um, connective tissue within um, the, the small intestine it is called the pancreatic tissue and also we all know that pancreatic tissue produces enzymes that are essential for digestion and so that um, we really begin to the major phase of chemical digestion of the materials so the other organ that contributes to digestion at this point is the liver. So we are done with this. So we will now move on to the liver. There's a little bit of discoloration here, as you can see. Here. The liver is a great place to look for any kinds of um, diseases or infections and um, let's flip it so 
Here is the main contribution. Contributor, the digestion from the liver is located. So I'm gonna open up the bile duct and I'm going to express some of the bile into the um, tube. So you can see what it looks like. So this thing will pass in duodenum and it helps with digestion and another part of small intestine. So this small intestine has a lot of this external. So we will now clean the weight of small intestine and dissect it. So this is the first part of the small intestine and, the du and duodenum. So this is the mid portion of the small intestine. This is a membrane system that holds the loop of the small intestine. Here, this one holds the loop of the small intestine. It is called the mesentery. And within the mesentery, there are numerous blood vessels. So let us see if there are um, bloods in it. So yeah, there are bloods in it. So if these blood vessels come from mesentery, arteries that mesenteric arteries that feed blood into the small intestine, and those arteries branch off into arterioles and capillaries and in the walls of small intestine. So in mesentery, there are major vessels that feed into major single large vein and it's called the hepatic portal vein. It carries blood from a small intestine to the liver so that all these nutrients just been digested and absorbed and can be processed in the liver and then dis distributed to the rest of the body. So the mesentery also is a very important organ, often um, ignored, but there are more interesting pictures of the mesentery called the dark uh, patches of tissue. Those are lymph nodes. Dark patches, lymph nodes. But these nodes are part of the immune system and so any kind of microorganisms bacteria or pathogens germs that could possibly want to enter through the digestive tract will end up brought in and those cross um, the interstitial wall and into this mesenteric vein, it has to go release lymph nodes where the immune system can attack those and help combat any kind of potentials. So, mesenteric unique structure also are this fat, this where the body stores fat. Here, there is a storage of fat. So, this like a small intestine to mesentery, the very last portion of the intestine. This is the ileum. I cannot show you the ileum, but um, ileum and the large intestine. In the ileum, there is a sphincter valve here junction where the ileum dumps into the large intestine. And see the um, chyme in inside the small intestine. As you can see, there is this white color here. These are the kinds. Now we will uh, move to the large intestine. So the large intestine is the primary site of microbial digestive. The microbes that are in there have been metabolizing, that's why you see um, there are bubbles but now you can see it because the stools are not here anymore, they are not present anymore. And <coughs> throughout the track, the track has really constriction in it. Um, so what goes with the small intestine are food materials that are not being digested up above. It gives microbes plenty of time to digest and will make it way down to the last part in the rectum. So along the along the way there are water absor absorption 
and it dissipated by the rectum. These are the this is the rectum. So now I'm done with the digestive system. I'm done dissecting the digestive system. Um, I am now going to dissect the eye of the pig. So we will move this first. And now we I am going to dissect the eyes of the pig. So um, the part you can see is the outside of the eyelids. And the pink tissue is the extra ocular. This one, the pink one here, the pink tissue. Muscle that are attached to the bottom side of the eye to move the eye up, down, left, and right, and its eye socket. So, to trim this part, to see exactly what we are looking at. So, we're going to... The white part is called the sclera. This white part here it is actually very strong and it's kind of slidey. It's kind of slidey. coming out there are jelly fluids and that jelly fluid is called vitreous humor now we have already cut the eye so as what I've said the jelly part here is a vitreous humor and then this one here is the lens here. this is the lens the eye you can see this circle here that circle and the circle that's ticking on the back in the middle um, this is called a little lump little lump there is the optic nerve optic nerve that will carry all the receptors to the brain um, it is filled with jelly you can start to see um, so here the the vitreous, and then the color black here is the retina, and then the white one here is the iris. So we're going to remove this.
that so the eyes of the pig is very cloudy it is because it is already dead but when the pig is um, alive the eyes are very transparent or clear These are some of the parts of the eyeball here. This one here is a lens. The, the retina attached to the iris. The sclera. And then here is the vitreous humor. And here is the extraocular muscle and then the optic nerve so I am now done with the four organs the eyes the liver the stomach and the intestine so um, I hope you learned something and thank you for watching